When you have more time, please come back and see what the inexpensive Atari home computers can do for you. Naturally, one of our salespeople will be glad to answer any questions you might have right now. Atari brings the computer age home. Okay, Ma, what's the capital of Nebraska? Oh, oh, come on, come on. I'm trying, I'm trying. Learn geography or get your jump shot on target. With Atari home computers, anything's possible. In fact, they just might be the wisest investment you'll ever make. Watch this. Hey, Mom. Hmm. What's the capital of Delaware? Dover. I told you she's smart. Atari home computers. We brought the computer age home. Atari, we've brought the computer age home. <laughs> hey, hey, I think someone else wants to have a look. <laughs> and that's great, because that's why I'm here. <clears throat> well, that's why we're here. So you can experience for yourself the fun as well as the power of the Atari home computer. And wait till you see how easy it is. That's the Atari home computer right in front of you. You use the keyboard to communicate. By pressing certain keys, you tell the computer what to do. And the computer responds here, on the TV screen. And from this simple communication between you and the Atari home computer comes a world of remarkable experiences. Here, see for yourself. Press any key on the computer's keyboard and see what we've programmed the Atari home computer to do with color and with graphics. Press any key. Go ahead, press a key. Pretty impressive, isn't it? And I'll tell you something else. Our computer can be used to make music. That's right. Press the M key and you'll see what I mean. Press M. Go ahead, press M. Well, it's not quite Beethoven, but it's pretty good. And speaking of famous people, I bet Einstein would have been amazed at the speed with which the computer can calculate some of the details of a little trip like this. Press the start key, the key marked start. Go ahead, press it. Oops, you pressed the wrong key. Press the button marked start. Try again. There's almost no limit to what the Atari home computer can do, and you'll see a lot more. By the way, do you use a computer regularly? If you do, press Y. If you don't, press N. Thank you. It doesn't really matter how much computer experience you've had. Whether you're an expert or a beginner, the Atari home computer can be very useful. In a moment, we'll let you try your hand at some programs developed especially for the Atari computers. For instance, you can use the Atari computer as your own private tutor to help you learn, even a foreign language. Parlez-vous français? <laughs> oh, how about that? Well, you can learn to type, or even learn how to run a nuclear power plant, or how not to run a nuclear power plant. It's a science lesson you'll never forget. You can use your Atari computer to play exciting games like Pac-Man and Star Raiders. I've got him. I've got him. Come on, Pac-Man. Let's get him. This computer is like having my own electronic bookkeeper who can help me figure out my finances, plan a budget, or even balance my checkbook. I can hook it up to computers around the country and get the news, stock market quotes, and research reports. I can bring some of the world's biggest libraries into my room without having to whisper. You can even use an Atari home computer to get an introduction to computer programming. I do my own programming now. It's fascinating. Atari, we've brought the computer age home. 
Which of these categories would you like to know more about? Home study, home entertainment, home management, computer programming. Or perhaps first, you'd like a closer look at the equipment. Which will it be? Uh, home management. Pick home management. Home entertainment. Computer <laughs> programming. <laughs> home study. <laughs> game study. I know, they're all good, aren't they? But you have to start somewhere. Go ahead, you decide. Press the number on the keyboard next to the category that you'd like. Home management, huh? Still thinking? Press the number next to your choice. Oops, you pressed the wrong key. Try again. Equipment is a wise choice because it's good to know something about the nuts and bolts of a system in order to make an intelligent purchase. Why don't you start with the computers? Okay. The Atari 400 and the Atari 800 home computers are similar in many ways and yet there are some important differences. Both of these computers can put a variety of words, characters, and pictures on your TV screen in all shapes and sizes, and they do fast computations. Both have great built-in music and sound effects capabilities. And when it comes to color, Atari home computers are downright flashy, with 128 different colors. I'm pretty slick, but who installs these computers? Well, you can, and you can by plugging one cord into an ordinary household outlet and the other into your antenna switch box. Now, what are the differences between the Atari 400 and 800? No engineering diagrams, please. I just want it in a nutshell. All right, in a nutshell. The Atari 400 comes with 16,000 characters of memory, which is a lot for the money. The Atari 800 also comes with 16,000 characters of memory, but is expandable to 48,000 characters, with memory modules, you can insert yourself at home. This means the Atari 800 can use sophisticated programs, such as the Atari word processor and the home filing manager. Another difference is that the 800 has the same type of keyboard as a typewriter. And the Atari Basic programming language is also included with the 800. With Atari home computers, software is available in three forms. First, there are the program cartridges. These are easy to use, durable, and cannot be erased. Next, there are the cassette tape programs. Many pre-recorded programs are already available on cassettes. And finally, there are the floppy or flexible diskettes. They can store more information than a cassette and operate much faster, too. If you'd like us to run through equipment one more time, press E for equipment again. Otherwise, just do nothing, and you'll have a chance to see our other accessories called peripherals. Okay, let's start by talking about the special accessories, or peripherals, needed for cassette and diskette programs. For cassettes, you need an Atari 410 program recorder, which simply plugs into your computer. It provides a voice track, so you can run programs such as conversational French. Bonjour. Bonjour. Not quite. Try it one more time. For really fast and efficient software operations and easy program filing for your Atari 800 computer, you may want to invest in an Atari 810 disk drive. A lot of information goes onto one floppy diskette, and the computer will find it almost instantly. A lot of people like to keep printed records of their transactions, programs, or documents. So Atari gives you a choice of printers. Our 40-column printer connects directly to the computers. And our letter-size 80-column printer connects to the Atari computers using the Atari 850 interface module. And the interface module also allows you to use the telephone modem to link your Atari home computer with other computers using your telephone. And finally, let's not forget joysticks and paddle controllers. You know they're used with games, but they can also be used with all kinds of Atari computer programs. Atari sure gives you a lot of choices. Right. And Atari backs their products with a nationwide network of authorized Atari service centers. If you'd like to go through this again, press P for peripherals. Otherwise, just do nothing, and you'll have a chance to choose another of the program categories. Atari, we've brought the computer age home. Which of these categories would you like to know more about? Press the number next to your choice. Oops, you pressed the wrong key. Try again. Home management, good selection. This is one fantastic machine. It does everything. Well, almost. Take word processing as an example. You can write, erase, insert, even automatically center. If you make a mistake, just correct it without retyping from the beginning. It takes the work out of homework. 
There are programs to help you plan and control your budget. You can keep track of your financial transactions. Records can be displayed by budget category or date. Through your telephone, you can link your computer to a huge network of information sources for current reports. Stock market quotes, weather in distant cities, the news right off the press wires. And you can get it quickly using the Atari Telelink program. <laughs> if you're like me, you've always wished you had time to organize and update things like Christmas cards or birthday lists and other records. The Atari Home Filing Program will really help you get organized. Listen, don't take my word for it. How about a closer look at a couple of popular home management programs? Press the letter that is next to the program you'd like to try. Press it. Go ahead, press W for Word Processor, F for Home Filing Manager. Try again. It's the letter W or F next to the program you'd like to try. Press it. The Atari Word Processor has many features found on word processing systems costing thousands of dollars. You can use the Atari Word Processor to write letters, drafts, and final copies. You can store your written material on floppy diskettes. Each diskette contains the equivalent of 60 typewritten pages. You can scroll the screen to find all the material you have written either slowly or rapidly like this. You also get a picture of the entire page layout so you can set your margins and adjust your spacing to meet your particular needs. You can have the computer find and change incorrect or misspelled words quickly and easily. In these two paragraphs, for instance, you'll see that the word computer is written several times. If you'd like to see how quickly the word computer can be changed to the words home computer, just press the start key. Press start to make the change. Press start. Or maybe there's something else you'd like to see. Would you like to try the other home management program? Press the letter next to it. Try again. It's the letter W or F next to the program you'd like to try. Press it. The Atari Home Filing Manager is a computerized filing system that brings the sophisticated world of computers to your aid. If you're like most of us, there are a lot of things you could organize a little better around the home. How about your record collection? Here's a format I use. First, you can create your basic format and duplicate as many cards as you like, up to 700 on a single diskette. You see, I've designed my file cards here so I can see the artist, the title, songs on each side, and even a place for remarks. Then you customize each card for each one of your albums. You can even put an electronic paper clip on a card for a reminder. Let me show you how fast I can search through this file. Please press Start, and the computer will flip through a few more file cards. Press Start. Imagine how you could use this system for household inventory, recipes, study notes, social affairs, birthdays, and other big events. All of those things you always wanted an efficient filing system for. And remember, with an Atari home computer printer, you can print out as many copies of any file as you want. Now, what would you like to see next? Atari, we've brought the computer age home. Which of these categories would you like to know more about? Press the number next to your choice. Oops, you pressed the wrong key. Try again. Home study, smart choice. Meet a real patient tutor. My Atari computer, I love it. I'll have you know old fumble fingers here learn to type with Atari's touch typing program at my own pace from very slow to very fast. In private, just my Atari computer system and me. Ta -da. Now, here's my geography lesson. When the computer draws the map, I name the outline state, then its capital. Animated geography. Also, I can compose music and see the computer perform it before my very eyes. I also wanted to learn to do my own unique programming. Atari's pilot program gave me an excellent introduction to the special program languages that computers understand. How about you? Want to use the Atari computer to learn a little about a nuclear power plant? 
or to see how the computer goes about teaching the ABCs. Just press the letter that's next to the program you'd like to try. Try again. Press the A or S that's next to the program you'd like to try. I can understand and have fun managing the forces involved in this kind of nuclear power plant. For instance, using my joystick, I can lower or raise the control rods in the nuclear reactor's core. Let's turn off some valves now and get things cooking. This changes the amount of power generated. Let's increase our risk factor to see if we can get an earthquake. Of course, you always have to worry about meltdowns. Press the letter M to see a meltdown. Now, what's next? Want to try the other home study program? Just press the letter on the keyboard that's next to it. Try again. Press the A or S that's next to the program you'd like to try. I'll bet my first alphabet is the neatest innovation in teaching the alphabet in years. It uses sound and elaborate graphics to make the alphabet come alive for your children. My first alphabet shows your child a letter and lets them find the matching letter on the computer keyboard. You try it and see how entertaining learning the alphabet can be for your child. Press the letter on the keyboard that matches the letter on the screen. Go ahead, press it now. Imagine how enjoyable it would be for you to teach your child the alphabet this way. Of course, numbers are also included. Now, what would you like to see next? Atari, we've brought the computer age home. Which of these categories would you like to know more about? Press the number next to your choice. Oops, you pressed the wrong key. Try again. Crisp graphics, terrific sound effects, all come together in a variety of games that are more than fun. They're challenging, too. To think of all the years I've wasted knitting. You can test your strategy in a game of computer chess. Or put your skill and reflexes to the test with Pac-Man. As you can see, Atari is the only home computer that has Pac-Man. One of my favorites is Centipede. Oh, my grandson. And now, for a closer look at Star Raiders, press the letter S. Press S. Star Raiders turns your computer into the window of your favorite spaceship. By using your joystick controller, you can move your spaceship down, up, left, or right. By pushing your button, you can fire your photon torpedoes. Of course, you just can't wander aimlessly around the galaxy. You need to consult your galactic chart. Your mission is to destroy Xylon bases and defend your mother bases. Press H to hyperwarp. alert in Xylon territory. Let's get him. Direct hit. Now back to our home base for refueling. Long range scan. We'll use our computer to zero in on it. OK, orbit established. Docking with our mother base. Now, the Intergalactic Service Station attendant is being sent on to send our energy up to all nines and repair all damage. Transfer complete. Out to save the galaxy. Atari, we've brought the computer age home. Which of these categories would you like to know more about? 
Press the number next to your choice. Oops, you pressed the wrong key. Try again. Computer programming. You've made a good choice. Of course, you don't have to know any computer language to use and enjoy Atari's pre-recorded programs. But if you'd like to try your hand at creating your own home management, educational, or entertainment programs, you can try one of my favorite languages, Atari Basic or Atari Pilot. Both are available in easy-to-insert Atari program cartridges. To see how enjoyable programming can be, let me show you Atari Basic, the most popular home computer language. It uses simple command words like print, go to, and run. We'll write a two-line computer program. First, we tell the Atari computer to print Atari home computers on the screen. That's instruction one. Next, we simply tell the Atari computer to go back to instruction one. In other words, to print the statement again. What happens when we ask the computer to follow these two instructions? Watch. Just press the Start key. As you can see, the computer prints the statement again, 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 until we tell it to stop. Of course, most basic programs are far larger and more complicated than this. For instance, scram, touch typing, and states and capitals are written in BASIC, which is why you need an Atari BASIC cartridge to use them. Beginners will find Atari Pilot with Turtle Graphics a good introduction to the world of computer programming. Pilot has these special, simple-to-learn Turtle Graphics built right in, making displays such as this child's play. For the pros and the aspiring pros, there are a number of advanced programming languages, such as Atari Assembler and Macro Assembler, Atari's Microsoft Basic, and even more languages are available from the Atari Program Exchange. Atari, we've brought the computer age home. Which of these categories would you like to know more about? Press the number next to your choice. Oops, you pressed the wrong key. Try again. Powerful capabilities for a home computer, wouldn't you say? I'll say. That's for sure. Even though you told us you don't use a computer regularly, we're glad you spent this time learning about Atari home computers. That's right. Naturally, one of our salespeople will be glad to answer any questions you might have right now. And thanks very much for spending this time with us. So long. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this presentation on the world of Atari home computers. We know you said you don't use a computer regularly, so we bet you were surprised at how such an inexpensive computer can create such dazzling displays on a regular TV set. And now that you've seen the two Atari home computers and some of the most popular software programs, we hope you're ready to enter the computer age. Please ask one of our salespeople if you need more details or comparative evaluations. And thanks very much for spending this time with us. We're always happy when someone who regularly uses a computer chooses to examine our Atari home computers. Were you surprised that such an inexpensive computer could develop such powerful displays on a home TV set? Your computer experience will help you appreciate the high quality color and superior graphics of the Atari home computers. They're also specially designed to generate a wide range of musical tones and sound effects, which I'm sure you'll appreciate as an experienced computer user. We hope you're ready to take an Atari computer home. Please ask one of our salespeople if you need more details or comparative evaluations. So long. Bye.